with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we are going to be reacting to a darman video this dropped last night and it is called woman spends mother's day as a prisoner now going to prison on mother's day sounds crazy first of all and now if you was really convicted for something you really did something like that that's just how it goes but if you are in there for something that you didn't do or you know what I mean? Like I have a feeling since this is a Dark Man video, that's where this is gonna go. So we're finna find out uh, exactly what happens in this video. And happy Mother's Day to all of the uh, mothers out there. If you're watching or just in general, man, happy Mother's Day to all of y'all. Hope you guys have a blessed and amazing Mother's Day. And um, before we dive into this, if you guys would like to follow me on my gaming channel, you know what to do. First link in the description. I posted a video over there last night that you guys can check out. We'll greatly appreciate that. And also make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Of course, when notifications turn on, that way you do not miss any of the uploads, baby. And let's dive right into this Dark Man video. Let's get it. Are they at church? Why is everybody staring at us, Daddy? Don't worry, sweetheart. Everything will be okay. I need to figure out what is going on already. Ebony, look, I just want to say how sorry. Damn, what did they do? And the he must have got her in jail or something. Let us be accepting and compassionate, showing love to everyone as he's shown his love to us. Because everyone is fighting a battle that we may not know anything about. Right, you never know what somebody's going through. If everyone can please hold hands. Hold my hands, guys. Take it. Take my hands. I don't hands. understand why people are being so mean to us. Let's just focus on the sermon and our time with God, okay? We are a community bound in faith, joined hand to hand, and united in our love. Such a good sermon. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. Wait for me here, sweetheart. I just need a minute. Well, I certainly hope that Johnny makes a full recovery soon. Thank you so much, Miss Stevens. Thank you, Miss Stevens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you next Sunday. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Ebony. What do you want? I just want to talk. I don't want any bad blood between us. Bad blood? You have some nerve after what your family has put my son through. Mom, it was oh, an damn. accident. You don't have to. Johnny, you stay out of this. Get in the car. Get in the car. A black mother gonna handle this differently, well, all right? I understand she gonna stand on business. But I want you to know we didn't mean for anything to happen to Johnny. Accidents happen and we are truly sorry. If you think that this is just some innocent accident, then you're just as messed up as your wife. Oh, the shit. The drugging baby killer. Now, wait a minute. You have no right to talk about my wife like that. Giovanna made a mistake. But the newspaper got it wrong. She is not. I am going to make sure that she serves the max sentence, even if it takes using every connection I have in this city. See you in court. Damn, this one's intense. On Mother's Day? Hold up. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Hold up. Hi. Hi. My D712. He's uh, a janitor? I'm sorry, you're all out of credits. Oh, um, that's okay. I'll just put it back. I'm here. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. Sorry, I must have forgotten. I have funds. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Of course. Go ahead and eat, sweetheart. That's the man. That's crazy. Like I remember having having a la carte and stuff in school like that. But that's crazy. Oh, damn. The mom on the newspaper. Hey. Um, so you think about doing soccer track? Johnny got a whole unibrow on his mom. He really got a unibrow as a kid. Johnny, what are you doing? Eating lunch? I mean, why are you sitting next to her? 
You know who her parents are. Is something wrong? What's wrong is that I don't want my son sitting next to your daughter. You've caused enough damage to my family. That has nothing to do with Angelica. Well, I'm sure the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Damn. I don't want her being a bad influence <laughs> on my son. Now, come on, Johnny. You have a follow-up doctor's appointment. I came to take you. Bye, Johnny. You know, oh, his whole arm is messed up. Okay. Positive role models at this school. I hate to pull any funding that my family is giving to this institution. Damn. A black mother don't play about her babies, okay? They they do not play. He lost his job, damn. Dad, I heard what happened. They really fired you? I don't want you to worry, sweetheart. Everything will be all right. I don't even understand, though. You didn't even do anything wrong. You're right. But you know what kind of influence Johnny's mom has. Can't you see them? Who's got the time and money? How does little girl know about all of that? <laughs> She's smart. Kids are smarter She'll in today's time. They get smarter faster. Now. Can you please try not to be sad? I don't want your mom feeling this energy. It'll only make things harder for her, okay? This is a sad video, man, on Mother's Day. How you doing, my love? Um, I'm hanging in there. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Hey, want to see out of your mom? Hi, mom. Hi, baby. Is everything okay? I know this is hard, but you look really sad. What's going on? Miha, talk to your mommy, please. Angelica. Dad lost his job. What? You weren't supposed to say anything. Well, it's true. You always tell me not to lie. I'm going to go wait in the lobby. Angelica, don't leave. Angelica! Why did you lose your job? Ebony's been making things really difficult and it feels like everyone in the community read that newspaper and got it wrong the school the church people stare at us everywhere we go the Damn. church too huh <laughs> is that the one place that people aren't supposed to judge look Giovanna I am doing my best yeah, I know to figure things out but as of right now I can't pay your bail. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to put the money together, but I'm not worried about the bail. I'm just really sorry for what I'm putting you and Angelica through. You made a mistake. It could have happened to anyone. And I'm sure the attorney will be able to convince the judge of that. Which, by the way, I decided not to go with a public defender. Yeah, well, no, a private attorney is too expensive. We can't risk you not having a good attorney. I looked it up and... And what, Gabriel? You could be facing years for doing damage to Ebony's vehicle and injuring her son. If the judge wants to be hard on you. But I'm sure once he hears the full story, he'll understand. <laughs> Which is why we need a good attorney. So the judge can know how good of a person you are. I'm not a good person. Are you kidding me? 
I have no words, guys. I'm sorry, y'all. I have no. This is deep right now, okay? Like I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm lost in the video because that's how deep this one is. It's Mother's Day, man. I'm sorry if I'm not talking. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> You're a great person, a great wife, and a great mom. I'm trying not to. <laughs> it could not easy. Even if you're not Angelica's biological mother, you're still her mom. Yeah. I don't want to leave Angelica by herself. <laughs> Stay strong. <laughs> I'll get you out soon. I love you so much. <sighs> Did they just snatched her up. All right. <laughs> As I will prove. Seeing, seeing like, like honestly, guys, seeing one of your loved ones in a position like that in handcuffs like that is very sad. The reason I was lost in this, and I'm gonna give you guys like some my experience that I had in my life. The reason, like, that was like, I, I've, I can relate to this. Okay, my brother, um, my brother that's a year younger than me, he's. He's doing good now in life. You know, he he's uh he he has kids, he has family, all of that. Um, but when I was uh back when I was like 20, 23, 23 or so, I was uh getting out of school and stuff like college. Um, this is before I ever even did YouTube. This is right before I started doing YouTube videos. Um, but my brother got um he got arrested uh by the police and he was on the news and everything like all over and it said wanted for murder. And I'm like, you know, that shit hit me hard when I was back then. Like, I'm like, my brother is in trouble for murder. And um, and I remember seeing him in, in, in jail and everything. And it like that's that shit really hurt me. Like, I, I remember that, man. I would go see him all the time, go put money on his books and everything. He had to sit in jail the entire time that this case was going on for them to prove that he uh, he didn't kill anybody and they lowered his uh thing to aiding aiding like a criminal or something like that he ended up being in prison for like three years and uh uh because he was the driver and the other two guys that were with him they're the ones that got out and shot and killed somebody on their porch and it wasn't even the person that they were looking for so i've been through an experience like that seeing your loved one and it's something like that when they were not the ones that did like like when they when a mistake happened that was like that was literally my brother, guys. He made he made a mistake. He was hanging around the wrong people, and I was telling him that I had, didn't have a good feeling about these people, and something like that happened, and my brother was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So I can totally relate to this, guys. That's why I really wasn't saying sure, a lot client, when we was going through that scene because I just remember that just shit. Not the name you know? on the court docket, but a woman who, despite her mistakes, is fundamentally a good person. Right. <sighs> Javana has contributed positively to her community. She's an active churchgoer and has shown remorse for the unfortunate incident that brings us here today. The only reason she's remorseful is because she's in jail. I'm not trying to downplay the seriousness of the situation. Giovanna was involved in a regrettable accident while driving under the influence. But that does not change the fact that she is a good person who made a terrible mistake. And we believe that she deserves the opportunity for rehabilitation and redemption with no prison time. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Your Honor, while the defense paints a sympathetic picture of the defendant, let us not forget the reality of her actions. She made a choice, a reckless and dangerous choice to get behind the wheel while under the influence of prescription drugs, her actions not only caused Mrs. Johnson's car to be totaled, but her son was left traumatized and put into a cast. I've never seen a Worst kid with a unibrow. An innocent child's life was lost that day. Oh, wait, a child's life was lost too? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm on the I'm on the mom side on this. Like, 
especially being under the influence and doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can be a good person, but no, nah, if you accidentally take a child's life, no, nah, man, that's different. That's different. You got you got to do some kind of time. Was pregnant at the time. We cannot ignore the fact that her negligence is the reason we are here to- I'm sorry to interrupt. I am still talking, Your Honor. I know, but unfortunately- Counsel, you'll have your turn. Please let the prosecution finish. Thank you. Giovanna is not the victim here. The real victims are Mrs. Johnson, her son, and an innocent life that was lost that day. A life that can never be brought back. And for that, the defendant must face the consequences. Life in prison. Life is crazy. Are you finished? Yes, Your Honor. Now I am. Thank you. Your Honor, before we get too far, I just want to clarify. Counsel, you will have plenty of time to argue your case. Today is just for opening statements. This hearing will continue next Monday at 9 a.m. Don't stress, we'll explain everything the judge will understand, okay? Yeah, understand that you're a baby killer, and you deserve life in prison. You gotta clear all this up. Giovanna didn't do what they're saying. I know, and we will. But unfortunately, now that the stakes are much higher, I do need a bigger return. Wait, wait, if she didn't do it, so like, okay, okay, okay. If she didn't do what they what they're saying, like I need I need to figure out. I'm a, like, we gotta see I we gotta see what happened, man. The money I have, I just lost my job. I, I can't afford anything else. Well, then you may want to consider a public defender, because I'll need at least ten thousand more to keep representing her. I'm sorry, Mr. Martinez. That's how that life is, man. Even after emptying the bank and asking everyone we know for money, we still only have a little over $3,000. What are we gonna do, Dad? $4,900, 5000 the pink slip. Treat her well. That only leaves you at eight thousand. But it's still not ten thousand dollars. Yeah, right there. Now what are we gonna do? Pray, honey. Just pray. Dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect on the teachings of our Lord today. Forgiveness is a divine virtue, which allows us to heal and to move forward. Remember, as it is written in Matthew 6, 14, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Some people don't deserve forgiveness. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. But it's not over. We have to catch the bus. jacket inside. All right, run and get it. Remember, brothers and sisters, forgiveness is a gift you give to others and to yourselves. But it is through mercy and understanding that we find true redemption. For some, but some degenerates deserve to rot in prison. You know, it's easy to come to church and be a good person, but you don't actually practice on what's being said. And what is that supposed to mean? It means that he's saying that you should be forgiving and not judgment. And <laughs> that, that's tough. Judging my mom. But I don't think that the Bible says that you should forgive an irresponsible drug addict baby killer. Well, actually... My mom is named a drug addict or a baby killer, so can you please stop saying that? 
The newspaper said... The newspaper was wrong! If you want to know what actually happened, I'll tell you because I know the story the best. You see... When I first met my mom, I was just a little kid. Even though she wasn't my actual mom, she always made me feel like I was her real daughter. She didn't ever show it. But sometimes I could tell it was hard for her not having a kid of her own. and how happy she was when she and my dad found out they were having a baby. They were both excited to be having a baby boy, and I was excited to be having a little brother. <laughs> Everything seemed perfect. That is, until it wasn't. My mom ended up losing the baby. She was devastated. We all were, but no one took it harder than her. The doctor ended up giving her some pills to try and help. She did her best to make it seem like everything was okay. Even though my dad and I both knew that it wasn't. up taking pills to deal with the pain. Then she made a horrible decision. She drove a car. And that's when she got into an accident. This episode is dramatic as hell, man. So you see, she lost the baby before the accident. She wasn't a drug addict or a baby killer. She was just dealing with a lot. And like Pastor McDaniel said, before you judge someone, you should remember that everyone is fighting a battle that you might not know anything about. Angelica, come on, we're gonna miss the bus. I was getting worried. Did you bring the retainer like I asked you? There's a little over $8,000 in there. I had to sell my BMW to get that. Sorry I couldn't get the full 10. I hope that's okay. Actually, $10,000 was the absolute minimum. It's even below normal. I'm sorry, Mr. Martinez. Excuse me, Your Honor. There's been a new development. I unfortunately won't be able to represent Mrs. Martinez anymore. She'll most likely have a public defender taking my place. I understand. Thank you, counsel. Thank you. Damn. I wish there was more I could do. Good luck. You don't mean that shit. postpone today's hearing. And the next available court date I have is May 16th. But, Your Honor, that's, um... That's two months from now. Isn't there anything you can do? I'm afraid not. The courts are all backed up. So unless you can make the $100,000 bail, you will have to continue your stay in prison. This court is adjourned.
Yeah, but with the hundred thousand dollar bail, you can still bail. You can still bail her out because uh, it's it's ten percent. So ten percent of a hundred thousand is ten k, and they have a little over eight k. So just go get the rest of that and bail her out. I'm sorry, buddy. But then they won't have the money for the lawyer. So I mean that you know that is a tough position, guys. That's a very tough position, man. Wait. I changed my mind. I decided I don't want to press charges anymore. But I thought you said you wanted to pursue the maximum punishment. I did. Until someone helped me realize that before judging someone, it's important to remember that everyone is fighting a battle we may not know anything about. <sighs> Don't worry, I added credit to her account. You did? Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you. Oh, you can't come up. Sorry, I don't think my mom wants you to. Oh, no, honey. It's OK. She can sit here. Oh, and actually, could you come with me for a second, Angelica? <laughs> you too. What are we doing out here? No. How, how did you? I found the lady you sold it to and offered her a little extra to buy it back. <laughs> Not only that, I also. Mama! <laughs> I just got goosebumps like a motherfucker, y'all. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I talked to the prosecutor and agreed to community service and a temporary license suspension. No jail time. And I also... I used my connections to get the newspaper to update the story. Hopefully, this will help clear your family name. Oh, thank you, Ebony. I, I can't tell you how much this means to all of us. Well, I'll see you all at church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Bye, Johnny. Bye. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. Damn, bro. Damn, that was sad. That shit was crazy. Like, I'm gonna be honest though. Like, even though, even though she was going through, a lot, like, she's still in the wrong. Like, for overtaking the pills and driving. Like, no matter, no matter how you slice the pie, she's still in the wrong for that. So you just have to come across the right person to be able, like how Ebony was in this episode, to, to be able to just finally forgive her and, and let everything come, you know what I mean? Like, let everything come back uh, to how it was. That, that, that was a crazy video, man. Once again, man, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you guys have had an amazing and blessed day. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys like to follow me on my gaming channel, that link is in the description down below. I would appreciate the support, man. And that does it for this one, baby. I will see you guys in the next one. We are out. Peace.